Hey everyone, step three on our expanding storage video is right here. Now this is gonna be the software one. This is gonna show you how to access your external drive, how to move apps to it, all that good stuff in today's video. Now, I already did the video on what equipment you're gonna need. I did the video on how to set it up on your TV to make it work to expand storage up to two terabytes with this little drive right here. And then this video here is gonna be the most important. Now this is the video that's gonna show you how to access the apps, how to be able to move them over there, all that good stuff. Gonna be a quick video. It's actually not hard at all. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go. All right, guys, so I've got you on the home screen here for the Fire TV stick. Now, as you can see here, I do not have an external drive attached to this at all. So if you go to my Fire TV, go to About, you're going to be able to see storage. I just have the 4.54 gigabytes of 5.33 gig available. Again, there's 4.5 available of 5. Guys, if you do your stick the way I show you in my videos, you're going to have plenty of storage. But if you want to add the extra storage, I'm gonna show you in this video right now how to do that. So uh, it, go ahead and watch that video if you haven't already on how to connect everything. What I have right now is I've got the OTG adapter and I've got a hub and we got the powered adapter all connected already on this TV. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the external drive. Now this is a two terabyte drive and I'm gonna connect it directly into one of the USB ports on the a hub that I've got attached. Again, it's the hub that I shared with you in our videos. So when you connect that automatically, it should prompt you right here how you want to do it. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go device storage right here. Sorry about that pop up on the bottom right hand corner. I don't want to set up an Alexa theater. I don't know why I did that. Uh, all content on this USB drive will be erased. It, are you sure you have to say Yes, so go ahead and say yes. It will format the drive for you. Now again, this is the 4K Max. It's a little bit of a different process on the older 4Ks. I have another video on that. This is for the 4K Max. Guys, they're on sale right now. Now's the time to buy it. They'll even give you credit and on, at Amazon if you trade in your older Fire TV stick. So that's something to consider if that is something that you wanna do. Now don't forget, on the previous screen, you do have to do the device storage, not external storage. People make that mistake and then moving apps, accessing apps from the home screen, it's a little bit harder, okay? So this is what you wanna do, device storage. It will format this drive as you see right now. Just take a couple minutes and then I'll show you the next step. All right, as you can see, formatting complete. The larger the drive you have, the longer this process takes. It really only takes a couple minutes though, so be patient and go ahead and hit OK. Now, if you look at storage, you've got the 4.54 gigabytes of internal, but you also have 1.97 terabytes. That's two terabytes, guys, of external space. That is a lot. Now, if you set it up as device storage instead of external storage, when you download those apps, it will automatically go to your external space and you will be able to access them right from your home screen. That's very important to know that it will not go on your internal space if you went ahead and did it exactly as I showed at the beginning of this video. So let me show you an example of that. Now you can move it between your internal and external really easily. So let's go ahead and install an app. So we'll go to find, we'll go to app store. We're gonna go down and go to all categories. This is how you're going to find all of those awesome apps for the Fire TV stick. We'll go movies and TV because that's what I like and that's what I'm gonna show you here. And we'll just pick app, Plex for the fun of it. So if you click on Plex and then you go ahead and click download. This will automatically download to your external storage. So the downloading process is slightly slower when you put it on your external storage versus your internal storage as far as the initial download, but it sure is nice to be able to have this externally. And then I'll show you how to access it directly and all of that good stuff directly from your external drive. Guys, this is a lot of fun. And I'm also going to show you how to move it between your external internal if you decide to do that. Say you needed your drive on a different uh, fire stick. I, I can show you how to move it back to your internal storage on your Fire TV stick. The ability to have the extra storage will allow you to have hundreds of apps, will allow you to use apps like TV Mate or uh, IPTV Smarters to be able to use your IPTV to download and DVR content, which is awesome. And if you set it up properly, you can move this drive between sticks in your house and between your computer. So it's pretty cool to be able to take that external drive, go to another room, plug it into that Fire TV stick, and now have all that content, everything that you downloaded, all the DVR stuff. Pretty cool. All right. It has already downloaded. Now check this out. If you go to your home screen, 
and then you go over here to your settings and then you go to applications. This is where everything's done right here. This is the magic section right here. Manage installs. You can see didn't take up any of my internal storage. Didn't really touch the external space because it's so large you can't even see the difference. Click on manage install. Now you'll notice everything is doesn't have anything except for this one. Plex is the one I just did after I added the external storage and it has this little, looks like a little pin or something there. That means it's on your external storage. So if you click on it right here, you can now move it to your internal or move it back to your external right here within it. You can launch it, you can force stop it, you can, un, you can clear it out, you can do all of the same features but move it between your internal and external right here. It's all done in your manage installed applications. So let me show you that you can actually launch it as well. So let's go to your home screen and then we're gonna go ahead and do what I always recommend if it's an app that you use all the time, that's moving it to the front. So you're gonna go here, you're gonna hit the three dash lines and you're gonna to move to front. By doing that guys, it's now gonna be right here on your home screen, easy to access. Otherwise, all of your stuff's buried, especially when you start adding thousands of apps to your Fire TV stick, which you can now do. Right here, again, you go all the way down and then pick the one you want, three dash lines, and you can move it, okay? So let's go back home. As you can see, Plex is right here in the front. Now, when you click on it, it will launch, and it's not on your internal Fire TV stick. It's not slowing it down, it's not taking up space. It is accessible to you directly from your external drive. There you go, now you have Plex. And again, this is straight from the external drive. Unplug it, plug it in another Fire TV stick, you can access it as well. Really cool feature. So that's how you move apps to and from your external hard drive. And I also shared in this video how to set it up. Make sure you set it up as a device storage, extremely important. Again, if you have an older Fire TV stick, slightly different process, I have another video on, on that. This is for, and the same with the Cube or the Fire TV edition, it's a different process for all of those. This is something that they added to the 4K Max, being able to add it as internal storage accessible without any other apps or any other setup. Really cool, almost worth the upgrade if you are interested in upgrading your Fire TV stick storage. How about that, that's pretty cool, right? You can put all kinds of apps on your Fire TV stick now. You can even set it up with an app like TV Mate to be able to DVR your IPTV directly to your external drive right here, which is really cool. You can get those little thumb drives, or you can get a two terabyte drive like I did in this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna know more content like this, or if you wanna get a little bit more in depth into the whole process of getting IPTV Smarters or TV Mate setting it all up and doing all of that, join us on Patreon because that's where I do those types of videos. Again, if you have any questions, comment down below. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Bye.